Hey guys, Jamie here. It's Tuesday, March 8th, and I just finished, finished, finished Winter House by Ben Kuzix. I think that's how you say his name. I'm, um, gonna, I gave it a 4 out of 5. It was really enjoyable. So it's about this girl named Elizabeth, who is an orphan. She has to live with her aunt and uncle, who are just horrible, horrible, horrible people. Um, they tell her she's not spending Christmas alone in their house, that they're going on vacation and they're sending her to Winter House. So they send her to Winter House. And she learns that there's weird stuff going on in Winter House, so she's trying to figure out what it is. And she ends up finding out, like, the secret. And... Sorry. And, um, the owner of Winter House happens to be someone very important to her, or someone who's going to be very important to her. I don't want to tell you guys the whole story, because I don't want to ruin it. I, ju I just think you guys should pick it up, because it's really good and interesting, and, I mean, it kept my attention. I finished it today, so I actually have finished every single prompt for Middle Grade March, and the only thing left is the group book, but I'm going to try to do that towards the end of the month if I can get into it. Because when I first started reading it, I could not get into it. So, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, I don't want to say too much about Ultra House because I don't want to ruin it for you guys. And I do believe it's like a series. I'm not sure I'd have to check up on that, but... Yeah, four out of five, very good. The next book I'm gonna pick up is gonna be Shadow Geist. So I will talk to you guys whenever I pick that up. Okay, bye. Hey guys, I know this is a weird angle, but I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know that yesterday I read about six pages of Shadow Geist uh, by Thomas Taylor. Um, I was getting into the book, but then my son wanted me to play with him and do some stuff with him. So I was like, okay, I'll just put my book down and then play with him and <coughs> keep him interested. Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> so that's what I did. Um, I'm going to try to plan on reading some of it today. I don't know. I might just put on like some 30 minute timers on YouTube and just crank it out. Or just listen to some ASMR or something. I don't know. I'll see what happens. But I do want to read some more of it today and get into it. Today is actually Thursday, March 10th. It's 1041 in the morning right now. But I did want to pop in and let you guys know that I did read some yesterday. And that I plan on reading some more today. I just got to manage my time better. So, I'm going to get off here. And I will update you guys when I do pick up Shadow Geist. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so we're back at this weird angle. But I read 100 pages of Shadow Geist today. I'm on chapter 14. It's called Chips for Men. So what's happened so far is this weird woman showed up at the hotel. Says that she's Herbert's aunt. Lady Kraken doesn't think so. Um, she's a magician, so there's another magician story for you. This is happening near Halloween. Um, <clears throat> the doctor and Mrs. Fossil normally, um, host the Ghastly Night Show, but this year, um, Lady Kraken has the magician and her two people doing it. Um, Herbert ran to... Violet, the book dispensary, um, the mysterious woman actually did the mirror monkey's test, got the book for her, but she said she already read it, so she's not going to pick it up and take it, um, Jenny never showed up to, back to the book dispensary after going to Mrs. F's house last night, or the night before. So, Herbert and Violet are at 
Sebastian Eels' house, old house, because he, yeah, they're at Sebastian's house, and, um, that's as far as I've gotten, and I'm gonna try to aim for 50 pages tomorrow, hopefully I can do it, if I can, I can't, if I do, I do, so, but if I do, I'll be pretty much on track to be finishing this book before the middle of next week because <clears throat> this week is almost over and I haven't done that much reading so yeah but I'm gonna get off here and watch some Big Bang Theory and then some booktube but that's my reading for today for Thursday I will catch you guys tomorrow for Friday okay bye hey guys it is Saturday well, March 12th at 1.21, and I finished The Bicycle Spy like a few minutes ago. I don't know how to pronounce the author's name, so I'm just going to put it up right next to my head. Um, <clears throat> this was such a good book. It's a 5 out of 5. It's about um, France and what happened in World War II in France with all the German um, officers and everything being over there, looking for Jews and everything. Um... It's also a book about friendship, heartache, um, trusting your family. Like, it's got a lot of subjects in it. Some of them were hard. Some of them were heartwarming. Um, the ending was amazing. Um, it's such a good book. I recommend the audiobook. So good. That's how I consumed the book. It was so, so good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I would actually love to own the book because it was that good. I, like, loved it so much. Um, sorry. Um, I picked up a little bit of Shadowgeist today while Amanda was doing some reading sprints, um, this morning. I want to pick up Shadowgeist, uh, some more today, too. Um, but I just want to pop in and let you guys know that I did finish another middle grade book, which was The Bicycle Spy. It was really good. I thoroughly enjoy it, enjoyed it. I recommend um, Krista, the Books and Jams, to read it. And Amanda. I think Amanda would love it, too. Um, so good. Um, I don't know. Too, I don't want to say too much about the book because I don't want to, like, spoil you guys for the book. So, I just, I recommend if you like historical fiction go read it this was my very first historical fiction book ever and i enjoyed it so yay um but like i said i'm gonna pick up shadow guys later on today hopefully i will update you guys we'll see what happens and i'm gonna get off here okay bye hey guys it is actually sunday march 13 at 6 58 I have been reading Shadow Guys today. You see from the green tab to the pink tab, that is what I read today um, during Princess's reading sprints. I will link her down below. As always, she does sprints every Sunday, so I join them every Sunday, and that's what I got read today, and I'm super stoked and excited. And I only have this little bit left. And I'm done with this one, and that's this is the end of the Eerie on the Sea series, so I'll be finishing that series. Um, the next book I'm going to pick up is probably the one about the girl who has to go live with her aunt and is learning about her ancestors. Um, but what has happened so far? I don't want to tell you too much about this because this is the third and final book. But some intense stuff has been going on in this book. Like, for the last uh, three, nope, for the last five chapters, it's been super, super intense and exciting and, like, eerie, dare I say. Um, perfect for the fall and Halloween vibes um that's that's what i'm feeling right now I'm, I'm loving me some ghosties right now so this is helping so much um but 
see Herbert. I don't know if Herbert's going to end up leaving Area on the Sea. I don't think he's going to end up leaving. Violet is still looking for Jenny. Jenny's still missing. Now Mrs. Fossil's missing. And where I left off, they're talking to the doctor. Hoping that he does not go see this girl's um, magic trick. Because they think she, or Violet, thinks she's the one who's controlling the Shadow Geist. So, yeah. We'll see what happens. Like I said, I don't want to say too much because this is the third book. And I don't want to ruin it for you guys. But seriously, you guys should go check it out. It's such a good book. I know you guys are going to love it. If you love Malamander, you love Shadow Guy or Shadow Guys. If you love Malamander and you loved Gargantus, you're going to love Shadow Guys. And I definitely will be rereading these because I'm always going to want to venture to the Eerie on the Sea. And this one has a map in it. Let me see if I can get to the map. Uh, can I get to the map? Here's the map. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, guys. Seriously, you need to pick it up. It's so good. I can't tell you too much about it because then I'll spoil it because it is the third book, like I said. But you guys should pick it up. Um, this is the end of this vlog here. Um... Have a good morning, day, night, evening, whatever the time it, it day it is that you are watching this. Let me know if you read any of the books that I read during this vlog. I would like to know. Um, or just let me know what you're reading down in the comments. I love to chat down in the comments. Let me let me know, guys. And um, remember, be safe, be safe out there. Bye.